Welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining us. Um, today, I'm out at the farm and got something kind of exciting. I'm excited for it. Hopefully you will be, will be too. Um, it's not a new quad track. I don't know if you've seen the grain markets lately, but it's not good. Um, the last couple months, I don't, a few months, bad. But regardless of how they're doing, we still feel like we need to make investments into the farm. So, um, Something showed up yesterday, and after I get done doing some work on this bean head here, I'll uh, take you over there and we'll take a look at what we have for this year on the farm. What do you think? It's not the prettiest thing on the outside, but uh, it's, a, it's what's on the inside that counts. Well, here's the big reveal. You're looking at a uh, 2000 Buick LeSabre. Like I said, she's uh, got her fair share of uh, cosmetic flaws. Uh, previous owner maybe had some trouble uh, keeping it on the road. But uh, yeah, overall, on the outside, uh, she needs a new headlight. I think we'll be leaving the bumper, the hood, and the uh, fender here. I think we can get this fixed up minor stuff <clears throat> outside door handle works so that's good it's got a horrible dinging noise so you got to take the keys out every time otherwise that'll drive you insane but uh yeah as you saw No door handle on the inside, so uh, we'll see what that's going to take to get fixed. A little bit dusty. Um, no headliner, but the best part is... <laughs> Come on. I guess you got to close the door to even see the odometer. Look at that. Only 230,776 miles. Check engine light definitely doesn't go off, but you know, that's minor. We'll keep oil in it. That should do it. Uh, gas gauge stays on full all the time. So you got to set the trip. Otherwise, you're probably going to end up running out of gas. Other than that, steering wheel controls, radio works, the heat and the AC work. The passenger door does not open at all. I asked what to do to fix it, and the guy I got it from said, well, sometimes it works. So we'll take a look at that as well. But one thing... It's definitely got wrong with it is the front wheel bearing is out for sure oh I didn't even know this one was hanging we'll have to get that fixed back up too but uh my priorities for today are getting that front wheel bearing fixed because uh, that's dangerous it sounds horrible it wobbles really bad and then obviously I'll swap that headlight out because you need lights to uh, legally drive after dark 
and uh yeah oh i got one one more custom uh accessory that's going on it as well so we'll finish it up by putting that on so oh yeah forgot to mention real quick leather seats doesn't get much classier than that i don't even have that in my own vehicle or my own truck so i guess in subways this is a little bit of an upgrade So first things first on this car, um, just to take care of some of the safety issues, I'm going to change this wheel bearing. Um, I've never changed a wheel bearing in my life, but uh, I did watch some YouTube video. I watched, I think it was like a 14 minute video and I made it through about five minutes. So I know how to take it apart. Hopefully I can get it back together. I think I should probably be able to manage. I'm not the most mechanically inclined person in the world, but uh, we'll see what I can do with it. Um, worst case scenario, uh call my dad he's been a mechanic for it was 40 years before he retired so he knows how to do it um he could just tell me what to do so either way i should have this thing uh with a new wheel bearing soon Well, the wheel bearing project is put on hold. YouTube's lie and never believe any videos that you watch that say it's going to take 14 minutes because those bolts are really rusty and yeah, it's not good at all. All right, so on to a project that I think I can handle. Oh my gosh. Wow, that headlight, she's held in there by a lot. But uh, anyway, I'm going to take this out. Hopefully the harness isn't damaged because I'm almost positive you need the harness to transfer over to the new light so we'll take this one out get the hardware transferred over and uh go from there uh no just the bottom one turn the headlights on nothing's working okay there we go that's high beam yep. all right yeah that's good Low beam, but blinker doesn't work. Huh? Blinker doesn't work. Just the bottom one. Hmm. All right, good morning. And uh, yesterday I had to just call it. Kind of ran out of time. Also, it was going way more difficult than I thought it would. Um, would certainly help to be up on a hoist or above, like eye level so you can get at everything. But anyway, I came in here with some... Uh, I guess refresh, not mad. Um, this morning, I got the rest of the bolts out of that wheel bearing. You just saw that I just did like a quick compilation of taking it apart. It's not anything exciting. Um, the bolts were extremely rusty. This car is, like I said, 260,000 miles on, on it. All gravel, salt, rust, everything. So anyway, I'm going to pop this wheel bearing out and uh, hopefully just assemble it and I won't have to turn the camera on again because it won't be exciting. And I did get the headlamp put back in it or the headlight assembly. Um, I bought a new bulb for the one that is the issue. The two bulbs that were not working, the blinkers, it's the bulb. So that's good. It's not an electrical issue. It's just the bulb. So I popped that back together. I'm going to pop this back together. Hopefully put some uh, self tappers in that. It's kind of hard on these rusty cars to find metal to screw into. So Anyway, do that, add my uh, aftermarket um, performance enhancing part, and we should be ready to go for a cruise. All right, should be done with this thing now. It's 
one perk to being at the farm is uh, all sorts of like big impacts and wrenches and stuff to fit some of these weirder sizes. I have nothing like this, so let's keep going. All right, we got the uh, tires back on it. Nick's out here, friends out here. Brian did some body work here. Look at that zip tie. It's hard to find good metal on this car, but fender won't move now. And then lastly, I drilled a couple holes in the hood because we need to put these on. Projects are done, wheel bearings done, headlights pretty much done. Need to replace that bulb. There's a rear tail light, or rear uh, turn signal that's out too. So I'll get those bulbs replaced, but uh, I got the antlers on the hood and I'm happy about that. So yeah, I can tell the wheel bearing's good because it doesn't sound anything like it did and it's not shaking and yeah, rides really nice actually. So anyway, thanks for watching. We appreciate it and we'll see you next time.